things that um, how have you used the power of collaboration um, not just with um, other hubs but with other organizations as well to try to um, to try to reach that one objective that you all stand for mm -hmm. um, you know one of the things I kind of realized or even before investing here there's always been chatter that Gambia can't get nothing done because they lack capacity, mm -hmm. especially in government. But if you look at most international organizations outside of the Gambia, they are being run by really, really smart Gambians. So from a capacity standpoint, I think we have enough capacity to revamp this whole country. So when I thought of that, we created a, an, um, a program called Who is Who in Tech. The, the technology people in the diaspora through this Who is Who in Tech in the diaspora, mm -hmm. we were able to connect them with some of the key players here in the, in the local ecosystem. So we've done two years already. So we're actually doing the third one again um, in January of 2022, mm -hmm. where, you know, I mean, it's been, it's been phenomenal. I mean, to the point of one of the local community companies that we've created and another company um, in the U.S. that one of the diaspora people work for, they do training for software developers. He was able to convince his company to sponsor a training event locally here and they trained 10 developers that are now, you know, interning in some organizations. And the training was actually delivered by a local tech ecosystem. So just that one collaboration, a tech company in the U.S., a diaspora a Gambian working there, convinced them to invest money here and have a local, a local company deliver the training. That to me is win. So if we can create a lot of those, can you imagine the outcome? Thank you.